Hello. In this video, we'll see how to apply language AI on any data set in OAC. Language AI is a service coming from OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, that is natively integrated within OAC. In my case, AI language services have already been registered in OAC, which is a very simple step to do, for which you have a different video just before this one. So now, I'm a business user and I would like to apply AI language to my own data. And I'm going to do this via a data flow. So in this case, I have hotel reviews, data, which has different columns and contains a text column called review text. And I would like to apply, for instance, sentiment analytics to this text. So all I have to do in my data flow is to select the node called apply AI model. And this will show me the different models that have been registered in OAC, OCI AI models about text or vision or language. And here I will select, for instance, pre-trained sentiment analytics, which is a model in OCI. And here I just have to provide with the name of the column where my text resides in my data set. In this case, this is review text. The service will provide with sentiment analytics for text in every single of my records that's called document. But in addition to this, it also can provide me with sentiment analytics for specific words in each text, and these are called aspects, or specific sentences in each text, so in each document, or both. So let me select that choice. And when you will see the output in a few seconds, you will understand exactly what that option means. Finally, let me provide with a reference column to my original data. This is simply supposed to represent unique identifier of my records in my original data so that I can later on join the sentiment analysis back to my business data record by record. I can add up to three columns to compose that unique key if I need to. And that's it. All we have to do now is to save the resulting data set into an OAC data set. So we'll call it Hotel Sentiment Analysis. This is going to create a new data set. And you can already see the output columns here. You see hotel name and review ID, which are reference columns. You see the sentiment, positive, negative, neutral, mixed, and the score for each of them at the bottom, which I've set to an aggregation average. You see the analysis level, which is aspect, sentence, or document, the sentiment text, which is just the text for which the sentiment is about, and then offset and length, which are locating exactly where that text is in the document. So let's go and run this data flow now. Of course, I have to give the data flow a name since I just created it. And as I click OK and run it, the text data here is passed from OAC into OCI service and the sentiment analysis is being run behind the scenes. So the whole data flow here took about four minutes to complete. My original data with about 5,000 rows with lots of characters in each text. And the resulting data set is here in OAC. So here we can see all the output columns and we can start doing some visualization with all of this data. For example, how many objects were tagged with different sentiments, mixed, negative, neutral, and positive. And we can see here about 50,000 different objects, although the number of input text record was only 4,500. Now, if I break this down with analysis level, I can see the difference between aspects, words, documents, and sentences. Let's dive into this a little further. On the bar chart on the left here, we see how many sentiments were found for documents, sentences, and aspects. So we started with 4,500 records containing text and sentiment was found for each single of these records. If I click on records tagged as negative in this group, it highlights on the table on the right all these records and we can see that the sentiment text here is the same as the full review text. If I look at sentences, there are a lot more sentiment found on sentences because every document may hold multiple sentences for which we found distinct sentiment. For example, on this same record, I can see here the different sentences that are part of that text and yet tagged with distinct sentiment. Similarly, for aspect analysis level, which is really the words detail, so lots of words could be found in all these texts and each word could be tagged with various sentiment value. So the three levels of output of sentiment analytics is very rich and very powerful, but also needs to be analyzed separately as they cannot be aggregated all together. Sentences, aspects, and documents would be like adding apples with oranges. 
Now let's highlight another powerful feature here. You remember we added review ID as a reference column in the output of our data flow. So now we can use this column to join our sentiment analysis results back to our original business data, review ID by review ID. And this allows us to build visualization and analysis involving any attribute or metrics in our business data, original data, and blending it with the sentiment analytics metrics. So in this case, I'm selecting specific hotels. I can look at ranking given by users and compare it with the score, the sentiment score. I can look at a trending of sentiment score and see that positive score are better on a given day or a given period. I can also use geographical dimensions that exist in my business data and slice and dice my sentiment analysis by any of this. So this is extremely powerful. And in this case, I'm looking only at document level. But if I go down, for instance, to the word level, aspect level, this chart, for instance, is showing me words. Each dot is a, is a word plotted by number of reviews in y-axis, how many times they appear in reviews, and their average negative sentiment score, how bad they're connotated. So if I click on breakfast word, for instance, that appears many times in reviews, I can see hotels here on the left where we have the most negative sentiment reviews attached to this word, breakfast. So that right away I could take business action to try to remediate this, or I can carry my analysis further down. So I can select hotels and carry on my analysis further down to see for these hotels where we had bad comments about shower, what else did we have? <clears throat> and build my dashboard to analyze other words that come along for that population with positive or negative correlation. Shower is an example here. Let me click to zoom into details. So there is a visualization plugin available to help you visualize where these words appear in original text and the sentiment attached to them. So in this case here, I can see for this hotel, all the comments and reviews where the word showered appeared in a positive or negative way. So within a few seconds here, we were able to execute OCI language AI on our own data, get a rich set of sentiment results and outputs out of this data and visualize it and analyze it in a very powerful way with Oracle Analytics. Thanks for watching that video.